Well, let's go to Comsec Tom Petrovsky with a look at the numbers this morning. How are we looking today when the markets open up in a couple of hours' time, Tom? Uh, Pete, good morning. We're going to be a little bit lower. The futures are telling us that the ASX 200 will be down by about a half of 1%. So that adds to the decline of three quarters of a percent that we saw for the local market yesterday. And the pulse that we got from the Northern Hemisphere overnight was again in that vein. Uh, we tended to see stocks moving lower and we tended to see long and short term interest rates moving higher and there are a couple of reasons for that uh, in the case of the US there was some uh, better economic news in terms of activity in the US services sector this is the Institute of uh, Supply Management Pete it's a very influential survey uh, it came in uh, quite a deal stronger than what the market had been looking for at uh, 54 and a half so anything above 50 is uh, speaks to an expansion in the sector employment in particular particular was quite strong in this measure but then the rub came in the form of a continued move higher for oil prices Pete so as we have heard much about in the uh, recent days OPEC and allied producers still pulling back on supply into the end of the year that seems to have established a new trading range for oil so we're currently seeing oil prices at nine month highs so we saw both the European and US benchmarks up by uh, more than a percent at their best levels of the session that was a factor that was just exacerbating that move higher for for interest rates so at the end of the session the Nasdaq down by 1.1 uh, percent the S&P 500 down 0.7 of a percent the Dow down 0.6 of a percent European markets generally weaker also we had the uh, the French market down by around three quarters of a percent uh, the Aussie dollar still uh, under pressure uh, and that's largely at the hands of an improving US dollar so we're back to around 63.8 US cents uh, today an interesting day we have the valedictory speech from the outgoing yep. uh, RBA governor Dr Lowe it'll be interesting to listen to the conversation today in that regard uh, and then we've got a whole load of stocks going ex-dividend including BHP so that'll be another factor that'll be weighing on the ASX 200 over the course of the session. Plenty for us to keep our eyes on there as always. Tom Petrovsky, thank you.